Hello all. Another video for this morning for another topic. It's 7.52 in the morning of Tuesday, December the 6th, 2016. The death of Castro. Castro was the last of the communist giant tigers of the last century, 20th century. He arose to prominence in the late 50s through a revolution against Barista, a very corrupt leader. He came to power in 1958-59 and the Bay of Pigs, the famous Bay of Pigs, nearly started World War III in October 1962. From then on, he was a tiger, a great tiger. He hated the West, America hated him. They very nearly went to war a couple of times and a lot of Cuban refugees went into Miami and into Florida to escape his cruel dictatorship. Now this man is dead and there's no more Castro left. The only other person very similar to Castro would be Kim Jong-un, but he is a monster. He's not only a communist tyrant, he's a monster. He needs to be attacked now by military force. North Korea. There's a different situation, a different question altogether. Both from the same stock, but one is far worse than the other. So let us know that dictators come and come to rise to power for a short time. Then they will disappear, disappear, disappear into eternity. Once a person takes the day of power and they come down and they die, they go into eternity to be with God. That's when they will know what they did was wrong. If you're a Christian, you'll be in glory for, for eternity. But we all need to realise and understand this. Because as I go through these YouTubes, if you follow me with the YouTubes, I'll bring up different situations as they arise in the, in the media, in the news. I'll put links to them and I'll make it a reality. Thank you very much and bye for now.